It's a very good game. ECU earning that electric win in extra innings. And of course, just a few minutes ago, Ryder yep. earning their most runs scored so far this year with that 23-9 win over Moorhead State. Standing room only on the hill here at Lancer Field. It is packed here. I'm Natalie Calvat alongside Corey Hodges. And Corey, not a single seat open. <laughs> Perfect weather. <laughs> Two in-state rivals, Longwood, Virginia Tech, facing off. Can't get much better than this. you got to go to the hill to find a seat. Go figure. Virginia Tech leading one to nothing. Big hit to start, and it bounces off the fence. And that's Cameron Fagan gets a triple out of the deal. She's having a breakout season for East Carolina. She's gone back to being a slap hitter. It's paid off with a 400 batting average and 14 stolen bases. She already more than tripled her total from last year. Just incredible stuff, Patrick, from her. That's right, Estes will get the start in the circle for East Carolina. Pirates head coach Shane Winkler likes her experience. She throws in the low 60s and really moves the ball well side to side in that strike zone. As for Lennon Spicer, has a ton of experience for Moorhead State. She's ninth in the OVC in strikeouts and leads the team in innings. Where she placed that ball, that was tough to get to. Yeah. Beautiful hit by Addie Green. She'll slide into second safe. And Darby Troll adds another to the board. Virginia Tech goes up now six to nothing. Huge play, finds that gap, looks where to throw it, chucks it to third. Huge out by Kuntz. Really good bunt by Jamie Bailey as Emma Ritter slides in to score. Hercules tire, strong move of the game. Here it is, Natalie. Bailey with power and pop right in front of the NCAA sign. Guests cannot get to it. So not one, not two, but three Hokies score. A three-run RBI triple just incredible it's five nothing Hokies through two here at Lancer Field that's Coriana Anderson in the circle for Longwood really nice hit right along the third baseline by the Hokie Emma Ritter who is having a second fantastic game Huge hit for Sutton right into the corner on the left side. She hesitated a little bit. Do I go to second? Outruns it, slides in. Welcome back, Moorhead State leading one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the third inning. And the Eagles are looking for their first win of the season, played in tournaments at ULM, Gardner-Webb, and Evansville. They begin conference play in just a few days, March 19th, man, time flies. I can't believe March 19th is this close. <laughs> That'll go right through Emma Ritter with a base hit to bring home Cameron Fagan and the Hokies make it two to nothing. Welcome back here. We begin the top of the sixth ECU leading five to three. We're going to take a look back at some of the big moments so far in this contest. We had two RBIs for the Pirates early. 